One in every three bites of our food depends on you. We share the same world, but it looks, sounds, and feels different to us. When you're flying quickly, looking for flowers, the rapid motion means that it's hard for you to process color information. At high speeds, you only see in black and white. Thankfully, the flowers want to catch your attention and have developed a perfume to excite you. The aroma slows you in your tracks and the world blooms into color. Your perception of scent is unique. Scent can trigger memories for colors that have been rewarding for you in the past. Evidence suggests that you use multimodal perception. This means that your senses work synergistically. At times, there may be cross-talk between your senses. One could say that you are smelling yellow, and at other times, you are smelling blue. There are challenges with finding the best flowers. Each of your two eyes is made up of about 5,000 light guiding tubes called omatidia. Each omatidia only captures part of a scene. You gain your visual information this way, but it is unlikely that you would perceive the world in multiple facets. Your brain does something incredible. It combines all these individual signals to form a composite image. Unfortunately, because each omatidia carries limited information, the combined image lacks the level of sharpness and detail that humans perceive. Any object that is not extremely close to you is blurry. This is a bit like how humans see things when they are underwater. Your extreme nearsightedness poses challenges for you when you're foraging for flowers in a complex environment. Despite these challenges, flowers have evolved in such a way to appeal to your particular senses. Others may find flowers beautiful, but actually the strongest flower signals are only truly appreciated by creatures like yourself who possess the ability to see a combination of blue light, green light and ultraviolet light. Many flowers have UV light patterns on them that are only visible to those that perceive ultraviolet light. The UV light flower patterns aid in guiding you towards the nectar and pollen. Ultraviolet light makes up about 10% of the electromagnetic radiation of the sun. However, it is beyond the human animal's range of natural perception. 
There are other ways in which flowers appeal to your senses. In cool weather, you like warm flowers, whereas in warm weather, you prefer cooler flowers. Flowers can modulate their temperature, warming themselves up and cooling themselves down. You are sensitive to these changes. Because of your preferences for flowers at certain temperatures, entire systems may change due to variations in climate. Human scientists do not know how climate change will affect all of this, but this is a current area of research. <laughs>